Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Heed Army podcast live. Just before we get into it, um, say thank you for joining us. Like and subscribe if you already haven't. We've had a few subscribers this week, and that's absolutely fantastic. It is fully interactive, as uh, Trina has done here. She's put evening, lads, and you can do that by commenting on what platform you are watching on, and we'd love you to get involved. We're going to be talking about the great win last week against Ebbsfleet, previewing Woking at Home and Halifax away on Bank Holiday Monday, and also the Boop Heed quiz. And uh, we've got a lot of other things to go into it. So I'm going to uh, quickly say thank you to our sponsors, firstly, and uh, our partners here. So is it, um, no, still point the wrong way. No, hang on. This is, yeah, this is, the, oh, what, a, what, a, anyway, as you can tell, I'm an idiot, but our sponsors are not Northern Print Solutions and our partners at Patrick Team, where as you can see, we're all decked out in our Patrick gear. And also as well, before we go any further, subscribe. There we go. And uh, leaves me to bring in the boys. How he is doing? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, yeah. Mickey, Mickey started with a buzz there. Mickey, you seem happy. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's happened to Mickey. I, 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 I feel <laughs> kidnapped and we've got a, the wrong person here on the show. I know. <laughs> I think it must be wind. It must be. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got a lot of other messages That's coming in. Joey uh, has put greetings from West Peterborough. Uh, we've got yeah, Peter. Safe Heed Army. We've got Sean Parry. Good evening, everybody. Patrick Story. Evening, all they're all coming in. The, the Waldens. There we go. Boiler Sports. David Tron. Well, thank you very much. Everyone else keeps sending their messages in. Um, lads, not a bad week, eh? Uh, another win. That's uh, why I'm getting you smiling. It is a, a lot of growth, <laughs> a lot of growth. So I tell you what, we'll get it on. Um, get it on, get play, the and, on. We'll, and we'll play the game. Uh, so look at that. Hey. beautiful, beautiful goals, uh, this in this game. Um, and Stephen ruined it for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, commentary probably did ruin it, but I mean. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's, I mean, I, I said harsh. in the commentary um, how much room Kent, Richard was, Kent and Richardson was getting was just ridiculous. He just kept striding forward of it. And, um, well, well, he well, had two goals at this, didn't he? There you go. He had two bites at it. And then, look yeah. at this. Here it comes. There we go. Beautiful. I still think it would have went in without the deflection, you know. I think you, you had hit it sweetly enough. But uh, yeah. great to see him score. Um, I, I'd even Thank said to Mark, what? At the start of the game, he was one of them players that would be hoping to put a good performance on, maybe get even get back in the England Sea, and then he pops up and does this, and uh, a lovely way to start the game. Yeah, fantastic way to start the game. Good, yeah. I thought it's good for him as well. Go on, some Mickey. Yeah. Oh, I thought Kenton was fantastic all the way through the game. Um, I couldn't could understand why this. I mean, for me, he he would have, but. I mean, Wern got the got the man the match before he got his hat trick goal, but Wern was instrumental and it was a good team performance. To be fair, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Um, Ebbsfleet weren't a bad side either. No, they weren't. Fair. They played very similar to us. Uh, they like to build from the back, and um, both sides had to be you know fully on it. And um, Gator just kept wearing them down and and got the open the spaces. But I mean. Well. One thing I will go about, I don't know if you noticed it, Mickey, um, in the home stand, there was a bit of uh, well, a bit of argy bargy near us, to be honest, near the commentary to start on the other, other side of where you were. Um, people arguing um, and shouting why we're pass, passing it around the back. Um, and then other fans yeah. getting involved. And I'm like, well, if if you, you're frustrated now, why are you only just coming up with it now? We, we've been doing it for years. Uh, this is the way you know we're going to play. Yes. Yep. There's an acceptable risk, but look at this. There yep. you go. You know what I mean? That's as long as we don't do mistakes like that <laughs> too often, then <laughs> it'll, it'll be all right. But yeah, I mean, even Greg Ollie was getting involved saying this is the process, you know, and and, and stuff. But can you understand people's frustrations at the way we play? Yes, I can, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I certainly can because people there wasn't as many people down dagging them. Uh, and they've seen what happens in the last two games, probably at Hartlepool and Oren Wood, where we've been caught by being slow on the ball. But second off, wow. Uh, I can understand why people are getting getting a bit tetchy because 
the game, you could see the game opening up and we were there. If we'd moved it quicker, you, you felt as if you could get it at them, which we yeah. did with the second goal. Um, the thing is, you've got to be skilled to be able to pull off something like we do like at the back. Oh, and of course, the, well, the only way you can get better at it is if we do it more, you know, actually play the system, yeah. you know, and the keepers, keepers obviously very comfortable isn't he sweet by keeper but, but it, it, yeah, seems, he's very it seems comfortable. to be an acceptable risk an acceptable accept, i'll get your words acceptable, <laughs> acceptable. acceptable, acceptable risk uh, by risk, the management yeah. team they're they're happy with the way that we we, we do the build up it it, it yeah. opens more chances than what it does calamity so to speak yeah. and we are free free scoring at the moment and i suppose if you keep that attitude of we score more than them, we'll be all right. But there is going to be games where we have to knuckle yeah. down and not mess around at the back. I mean, we spoke about it last week. You know, the goal that we gave with Dagenham was shocking. shocking. Um, yeah. So, but four-one winners. Right. You no, know, we, we, we we can't be too too unhappy with our brand of football. Oh God, no! The, the highlights, by the way, do also don't show uh, their, their keeper pulled off a couple of good saves in the first oh, half yeah. as well. Yeah, some amazing saves. Uh, yeah. Cousins pulled off. Um, you know, I mean, he, he had that calamitous moment at the back, which you know was a bit reminiscent of us the other week. Um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, he really did save the uh, the graces at times. But this is this is beautiful. Denanga's, Denanga's pass, yeah, beautiful. Look at the weight of that. Look at that, Davey. Yeah. Have a look at your intro. Yeah, on the show, and look at the tactics board. It uh, looks it's, very similar to the way that goal was scored. Well, where do you where do you think they got it from? That's all I'm saying. I'm going to change some tactics. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am the I am the master behind gated tactics. Um, but I only say that when we're winning. When we're losing, uh, they're not my tactics. Are you, are you uh, Doctor Evil? Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've, this is my little, <laughs> is that my little mini me here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, little Adam Campbell, he's still with us. Yeah. Um, oh, little Adam! But yeah, hey, Adam. we're talking about the the tactics about people moan about. I'll not say the Playing word the that gets used. Back. Playing at the back. Playing at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we when have we ever been any good when we're lumped forward? We have yeah. never. As long as I've been watching Gator, if we start lumping the ball, we are in trouble. Yeah, and, we and are big you know, yeah, Viva passing at the back says Johnny Gray. Um, we've got evening lads uh, embracing the vision. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, Pointless Sports said he, f- he thought the penalty was a bit harsh. Uh, the, the that must be the their penalty that they missed. Um, yeah, he seemed to I think what penalty for harsh. Oh, I, I think you've yeah. got a hand to it if you, if you watch it. If Paul's I've, watched, I've watched it loads and loads of times, and I still think Wayne's looking for it. Well, it, well. You know, we got it. Well, That's look, me. yeah, I'm I'm gonna take it. I'm yeah, certainly yeah, going to take valid. it, but well, I thought their penalty was an absolute it was diabolical. Yeah, yeah. I think the referee a, there, was a moment, there was a moment in the game when the card got the, the card, the referee got a little bit card happy. I felt he wasn't in control of the game. Um, but you know, we've got a rule with it, take it how it comes. It's the same for both sides. But going back to your point there, Mickey, about the, if we lump the ball up. We've always been a good passing side. Doesn't matter when we've yeah. been a poor side. We've always tried and passed it. And I think on that pitch, you have to do that. If you don't use what it, you know, there like for you, your, yeah. you know, your disposal, then I think you're more fooled yourself. Because yes, you can understand. You, I, I don't want to. I haven't seen their pitch in many year, but you know, a frickly athletic who maybe do go along because the, the, it's a bit of a bobbly pitch. Yeah, that's not going to suit us. But if we pay pass it around we know it's going to suit us better so yeah you play to what you've got and we've got decent lads at the minute and uh a decent pitch uh ken webster's put evening all uh we've got, i hope you're all okay from uh craig uh hilton so f- keep them yeah. coming in uh so apparently david you you're our evil mastermind don't say that because if anything goes wrong it's all going to be blamed on me um also as well we need a little update on last week steely how is tinks the puffin Thinks the puffin. It went to sea yesterday. It was it was released yesterday. Um, it got to its weight. It had to do off. It went in a happy days. I've, I've still got two left, mind. But that's another matter. He says that, but it was a Viking funeral um... <laughs> on the barbecue. Yeah, I'm yeah. Um... gonna say d- dinner was good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, we are going to have the boop quiz because Davey, um, you might not know this, he's, he's partners on the island and he's got a romantic sunset proposal 
uh, live on the podcast. <laughs> so, uh, this, this, this I don't think so. so. All, all, all eyes, I tell you. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I just want to know. Oh, oh, I, I'm going to distract from this. Oh, I'm just going to ask. Oh, 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 oh Gated fans, happy? Are we happy at this moment in time with what's going on and what? And where we are, and, and the games we've won, obviously, and have lost as well. Are we happy? Oh, yeah, I think so. Well, I am. If we get another four points from the next two games, I'll be extremely happy. Because <laughs> uh, I have sat, me and Hebby have, have both said about 11 points after the first six games, I think it was. Bloody hell. If we if we can get 11 points out of that, that then we'll be on a good thing. Oh, man. We're talking about I'd, I'd probably in. take a, a draw against Woke, and as long as we can beat Halifax at long bloody we're, last, we're, we're, we're not going to do that, man. We're not getting beat Halifax. <laughs> <man. We're not laughs> um, it was last century when we last beat them. Anyway, um, keep going, Davey. Sorry. Look, look, we've got people here saying that they're uh, apps delighted right now. Very good. Um, we've got uh, so buzzing for the lads so far. Um, uh, since uh, what we got here, we've got. Uh, Saw the highlights yesterday. Looks like another great performance. Worm could easily have had a double hat trick. He definitely, yeah. uh, he was, he was, you know, he was, he was flying, wasn't he? He was just finding the space. Um, yeah. It goes in two games. Uh, and so what's to complain about? Eh? Exactly. That's the cynical gated fan finding something, isn't it? Um, we've got here. Yeah, I will be watching the Oldham game on Sky. Can't wait. Uh, it's not. It's on B- uh, TNT. Um, I know I'm just being pedantic. Um, we've got uh, here Mickey Dave still needs to do the bond suit, yes. So, yes, yeah. well, I have to wait another five pounds off that's 12 pounds in two weeks. Everybody, Jay Jay Forsyth, by the way, is my nephew. So, ah, well done, Jay. Well done, Jay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, that looks like it's real talent. Going to be confident going in any game. Well, it's hopefully it is right. We have the titty quiz coming up. Um, because Davey can't be here too long, so we're going to get in. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to change the highlights this week at uh, the highlights, the, the intro to it. But here we are, the boopy quiz. We'll be back in a second. Now it's time for Mickey V. Steely in what has been named the most anticipated battle. Get ready for the boopy quiz, and you can play along at home as well. So I'm just going to um, just uh, turn my camera off and disappear. So there we go. Oh, Look, thanks. It's the clash of the titans here. Do, 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 do you realize that what, 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 one of the things I'm absolutely useless, useless at is, is recognizing faces? Um, so back in the mid 2000s, can you remember? Well, can you remember Friends? You know, Friends, you know, the English actress, it was Ross's girlfriend. Yes, I didn't want to. I, I, I know, I mean, yeah. Aye, aye, absolutely. So I was chatting to this lass on the Farn Islands and she was asking about puffins and all this kind of stuff. And uh, about 20 minutes she left. And then all, all the other wardens came up to us and were like, do you know who that was? And I was like, no, I haven't a clue. And it was like, oh, such and such from Friends. I was like, oh, okay. Just wasn't useless. Being cool, wasn't she in cold feet as well? What, sorry? She was in cold feet as well, like the English oh, was, that's true. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Anyway, oh, here we go. Come on. Get into the blue Pete quiz. This week, um, I think it's a bit easier. The, the, I think I think this, this one will be easier for you. Um, but what easier. I will do is, okay, is... Um, that these are all in the fairy tale. Oh, so they'll either be princes or princesses. <laughs> They're all gated players or ex gated players. Mickey, do you fancy being a princess? Well, no, I've you, always not. wanted to be a princess. I will let you know you neither of you are charming, me. especially. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is my word. Oh, so my. who is that? I have it. Come on. This is absolutely any suggestions, anybody? Could someone send some suggestions in? Let's have a little look. Oof. Oof. So what what's for it's it's a current football a current player, basically, yeah? Yes. Current one. Current player. Are you going first, Eliama? No, I'm lost off completely. I, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm gonna go and add Francis. Ed Francis, you know, it's a good show. I was going to go with Wern, but we, we did Wern last week, didn't we? Doesn't mean it can't be done again. Does it? No, but yeah, you, <laughs> could, you, could, you could imagine Davey. Got, oh, 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 it's not it's not Greg Ollie, is it? Let's go for Ollie, randomly. 
Okay. So you're going Greg Ollie. What are you yeah. going for? I said Ed Francis. Ed Francis. Well, it was Luke. Oh, I was going to see a hunting. I went, ah, oh, yes. The hair. There was the I hair said, the hair. Nil, nil at the minute. Nil, nil at the minute. I was going to see a hunting. No, I was thinking, no, I'm not behind. Really? I've missed an N out hunting there. Apologies. Oh, I didn't believe I've done that. This is the next one. Who is this? It's your turn again. It's not, it's yours because I said Ollie first. All right, I um, mean, it makes no difference. We're not getting the Mickey, so you know, please, <laughs> <laughs> that as well. Like, <laughs> Davy's obviously, yeah. See, I, I, I might stick with Ollie again, yeah. Well, I'll stick with Ollie. Who are you going for, the Mickey? Well, I, I can't choose Ollie, can I? So, nah. I'm. Um, uh, well, I'm probably one nil down, but I'm going to go with Kenton. Kenton, well, it's one nil to. There we go. <laughs> one nil to <laughs> oh, now, who's going first on the next one? I'll Me. No, I'll, this I'll, one. I'll, I'll go. I'll go first because he got all It's very easy. Hey, Dave, you've got far too much time on your hands. Who's this? <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping that's Ben Clark. <laughs> I was going to say Ben Clark straight away. It's got to be Ben Clark, surely. Louis, Louis Story. Let's go, Louis Story. So, who are you going for, Mickey? Ben Clark. Oh well, it's one-one now. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, had to, it had to be as soon as it came on. <laughs> it's one all. It's one all at the moment. Uh, after three, and, uh, this is the next one. This is one of the ladies' players. Who is that? Oh, I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, no. But, uh, go on, Mickey, gonna... go for it. No, come on. It's first, Dion. First one. It's Dion. Do you have a guess? I, I have no idea. Sorry. No, go on. It is. It's oh. Dion. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Tell you what. But turn it round. All right. Mickey, turn it round. Here's the next one here. Can you I was at, I did have an advantage there to be fair. Can you, can you level it and take it to a, Ooh, a time? Yeah. I think I know who this is as well. Do you? I think so. What are you seeing it? That hair? I could be completely wrong. No, I don't I don't I don't know. McBride. Let's go for McBride. Yeah. No, I've no idea. Yeah, you you're going it? McBride? I'll go McBride, I. I was going to say McBride. Yeah. Um, it could be anyone, Miggy. I think it's McBride personally, but. Uh, oh, I'd be a killer if it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm done for, but I'll, I'm going to. I'll see a Louis story. Uh, well, I tell you what, neither of you are right. A lot of people oh. in the chat got it right, though. It Wern. was. It was Wern. Well, ah, of course, holding the ball. Bloody hell. Of course. Yeah. yeah. It Match was the lack of a beard. So, so uh, Steely, you're the boob heat this week. No. <laughs> oh, well, so, isn't that good? Yeah. Dion saved. Is that what happens when you go and watch the ladies' football, you see? <laughs> there you go. But um, I tell you, I've got a little visitor here. You're going to say hello? Hello. Hello, Jack. You're going to say hello, everybody? Hi. Hi, there we go. <laughs> I'm staying up late tonight because it's the holidays. So I'll just put that oh, up. Fantastic. Here. He's joining me on the podcast. Now, it didn't go to a tiebreaker, right? But we do have one that we can throw out to people. Um, yeah, go on. In, um, Is it a tough one? Please be a hard one. Um, <laughs> said the vicar. Right. Um, one second. And who is this? I know who it is. I think I've, I've got an idea as well. Uh, uh, we'll see if anyone gets it in the in the in the um, in the uh, in the chat. <laughs> Trina Very says nice. hello. You want to say hello, Trina? Hi. Hi. There we go. So, uh, if everyone wants to have a guess who that is, <laughs> uh, they're, they're coming in. The guess is here. Yeah, we go. I like that's the answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh wow! Well. Everybody's, everybody's. I think I've made this one too easy. Uh, yes, everyone's saying Mark. One second, what do you want to say? 
I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who it is. Well, it is. It's Mark Carruthers. There we yeah. go. <laughs> look, you look cool with makeup and a tash. Um, I'll have to tell him. Have you sent him that, or is he watching no, this? No, I haven't. I haven't. He, he might be watching this, and he, he, he'll probably be very angry at that. He was quite angry with on Saturday because he, him and his daughter made some beautiful brownies, but because I'm so hard on my diet, I was like, I refused it, and he got quite offended. And then I offered it to um, Charlotte Potts, and she had it, so there we go. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so new profile picture for Mark. Yeah, we'll have to see if that is. But uh, also as well, we've got some other pictures that's been sent into us. But Mickey, uh, would you like to warm the larynx? You have a birthday to to say. Oh, have a Tracy Ooh. Wilson. It was a birthday this week. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tracy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Is he a good singer? Yeah. Really. <laughs> I think, yeah. I, I think should have done it in the style of New Model Army, to be fair. She, she likes New Model Army, Tracy. So. Oh, oh, God, I've just I've knocked me the end off me, mate. That's not what you want. Um, But, yeah. Uh, so, oh, happy yeah. Birthday. She's on holiday. Happy birthday, in, Tracy. Up in the yeah, wild. Happy birthday. <laughs> I think out in the out of Hebrides, and she sent me some pictures because she's took Dave Allen on tour. Um, this Shit, is what everyone, should, what everyone should do on their holidays. So I've got a little banner. This is where she's been. This is what you put. She sent this to us. Was there we go. I think we've been uh, when we've remembered the flag. They've been to Lewis Stoneaway, Derby, uh, Little Brenner, Benaway, and uh, North East, which apparently I think she's there now, and she's been in a pub. So she was dying for her birthday, which she said was. But uh, these are the pictures of Tracy on. On tour with Dave Allen, so there we are. Hey, <laughs> rumor has it she was skinny dipping at this point, but let her put the flag up for modesty. Uh, there we go. That we heard she was streaking at this game. Uh, <laughs> if Goat Hill, that's a good name for a gated ground, isn't it? Um, yes. we've got another one. There she is, there next to a fire with a, a net on it. The must the midges must be bad up there this time of year. Hey, yeah, that's just took up beekeeping. <laughs> no, the midges, midges are terrible on the west side, yeah. Yeah, oh, awful. And uh, there we are. Look at that. She just took them everywhere. Everywhere. And this beautiful part of the world. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. That looks, looks beautiful. Like top of the water, that doesn't it? it looks looks like she's got a big bear, a big Davy underpants on, doesn't it? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Alan Y fronts. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> There we go, and there we go. There we go. That looks a little bit cool. Um, um, when I went on the boat on holiday, I think the day was pitch black. The sea was pitch black. Davy went, uh, sorry, Davey, Jack went on a, um, a boat, a tour boat, the Puffin Cruise at, um, at Armbolt today. So he went around the, uh, around the island, didn't you? Wow. Did you see any seals? Uh, when my were coming by, I seen the water, and I looked at uh, I, 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 I look at the back of the boat and I seen it, I, I, and the water was like oil. The water was like oil, was it? I oil. think that's what needs reporting, does it? Was the water <laughs> bumpy? Yeah, it was a yes. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> no, we're going, wow. we're Hello, we had I reckon Jack with... should do the Cumbria on Saturday. I, I think you should. Well, <laughs> uh, the the midges uh, are bad in the Highlands too. That's where Liv is as well. Uh, it was a bit windy, says Ian Wilson. It looked it, didn't it? Um, so yeah. there we go. And uh, Liv is yeah. what a wonderful lady, and Tracy is. So there we go. Yeah. And uh, Mickey, you've got uh, some praise for your singing there. We've got beautiful Mickey. Beautiful Fab Mickey. There we <laughs> Thank go. you very much. Yeah, and uh, also we've got Mr. <laughs> Mr. Luke. He's on holiday in Mallorca, watching in from New oh, York. Very nice. Boston. Uh, great set of results against Ever Street. Looking forward to your commentary against Woken. Well, that's very nice. Well, hope not jealous at all. But we'll be, when are we going to Mallorca? Um, um, on September. Yeah, there we're gone. So we're going away. Woo! So, are we going to go on a boat there? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a bit, a bit warmer and a bit nicer we're, there. We've got tit Titanic moment right there. We didn't go. To <laughs> oh, we're going to go over the Britannic. Oh, we're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ken says I would be seasick. Were you seasick? Uh, 
um, and, and I, I was a little bit scared when I was coming back because my my hand my hair turned a little bit lime. Oh, it turned a bit lime, did it? Yeah. Oh, you must have went green. <laughs> <laughs> the future of the pod, the Heat Army podcast. There we go. Dad of the year, it goes too. <laughs> so there we go. The social services yeah. <laughs> number yeah, one uh, wanted list. Uh, <laughs> Heat Army podcast on tour. Then I'll tell you what. Uh, I will broadcast live from New Yorker. Uh, we've got what's this? Missing school to go on holiday when they've had the whole six weeks. Boiler sports when you get old enough and find out how much it is to go on holiday during the six weeks. Uh, yes. Yeah, they got no school. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, what a family show. Really fantastic. Do you want to say hello, Liv? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you and little puppet. Um, but on that note, uh, as I say, would like to say once again, big thank you to our sponsors, Northern Print Solutions and. Uh, uh, Patrick, of course, we're all decked down at Davies in the new strip there wearing our podcast T-shirts, and we thank them for their support ever more. <laughs> um, it's been really, really good. And uh, also, as well, you may have noticed on social media, there is a talking happening next Thursday night. So the podcast won't be on next Thursday. We might move it to the Wednesday if we can. Uh, we have been asked if we wanted to broadcast live from it. Um, probably not the greatest thing to do, especially when I think you've Matthew got Razor on. Razor's hosting it. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably record some interviews there and things like that. So and then we'll use it and put out like maybe a, a special show uploaded on Sunday or something like that. Or we'll use the stuff for the week later. Um, but yeah, get yourselves along to that. And that is at the Gated uh, Bowling Club, isn't it? I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So get yourselves there just near Gated Civic Centre. Three quid a ticket. Yep. Yeah. And uh, let's see, go on the Gated Soul website. You'll see it all there. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, one second we've got here as well. Uh, delight to see uh, for Bales and his family to see Bales having such a good game for Donny in the league. Uh, in oh, league really? one yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. He's going to be doing all right. He's starting every game, isn't he? So uh, let's say much love for him there. Oh, apparently, uh, Poppy and T shout hi. Do you want to say hello, Poppy and T? Hi. Hi. <laughs> he's, he's, he, I swear he's man of a few words. Yeah, he is a man of few words, like his dad. Um, right. Uh, as I say, Davy, I don't know how long you can stay, but you can, you can stay as long as you like. I know you've, you've got that ring in your pocket burning. A hole ready for the moment. Ah, the precious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just winding Davy up, but he has got his missus there on the island for the first time, and he's ditched out with his workmates to come in here and do the podcast with us. So, we, we, you know, that, that tells you what dedication he's got to his relationship. Uh, we come first. We come first. You, you, the listeners, come first. That's where it is. So, yeah. Uh, 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 to my don't get really funny. Oh, what's <laughs> and and when I was on the boat, you know, the man told me me it was only when the boat told me a walrus kitten kitten it the boat. He was a walrus kissing the boat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. sounds, like, sounds like me in the buff. We had puffins last week, and this week we've got uh, Warriors kissing the boat. Davy, we've let him off with uh, out doing the um, uh, wildlife <laughs> corner this week, but next week, Davy, I want wildlife and you do your own little vlog. And uh, yes, he's he's fully involved. He's been talking, telling me about everything. Oh yeah, fine. Every, he's got he's got a little fan club here. If we if we can get some likes and highs, for, uh, put a Jack in the chat for Jack. We'll see how many we can get. Look at him, he's buzzing. So yeah, we've got little Jack. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, what's, he, what's Jack's prediction for Saturday? What's he uh, thinking? What, what's the what do you think is going to happen to Gated on Saturday? What's your um, prediction? Win the goal, they're going to win a goal. Oh, just by one and um, a million, a million. Oh, oh that's get in. Uh, so here first. Look, Jack, <laughs> Jack, this little Jack fan club. Look at all these Jacks. There's loads. <laughs> 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 Brilliant! Well done, everyone. That is fantastic. Well done. That is that was phenomenal. If we, if we can sort it with uh, Uncle Bernard, would like to be a mascot. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Also, as well, you may see little Adam Campbell here. My wife had a genius idea. You know how we did hats last year and stuff like that. She's on about Denanga bears, a little bear with a gated strip oh, on. 
Oh, oh yeah. That, that could yeah, be like uh, that. that could be the Heat Army merchandise going into the winter and a hat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep her busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> keep her busy. Uh, still, oh god, she's just busy at the minute. So the oh, what, what you got there? Is that Wayne? Yeah, yeah I thought it was. Oh, uh, she, uh, Wayne. You've you've plied your missus with Wayne. I've already plied uh, mine's plied with Wayne. Mickey, why hasn't Trina got any Wayne? Because she's yeah, on the Oh, she's at the hoose. Well, there we go. Look, Jack, there's still loads of messages coming in for you there. There we go. Trina, Trina drinks special brew anyway. Oh, well, she looks like <laughs> in the back of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, are, you, are you getting are you going to jump on there? Yeah. Classy. Um, right. Uh, obviously, uh, there's two games coming up this weekend. We've got uh, the game on Saturday. If you are going to be uh, unable to attend, of course, it will be if you're living in uh, an abroad, that is. Uh, you can watch the game on uh, National League TV streaming service, or you can join us live and listen to me and Mark as we bring you every kick from kickoff, uh, from kickoff, should I say, uh, in this game against Woken. And what a game it should be. Woken uh, haven't had the best of starts. I've still only been but what a tough team they are going to be. They always are. It's always been a tough encounter. Yeah. With and even going back to the days when I first started watching, when Clive Walker was still uh, oh, yeah. roaming yeah. around the midfield for them. And um, yeah, yeah good, so... Good, was... good, good team. One of, one of the best we saw at the stadium last year, if you remember. Yeah. They, they thumped us 4-1, yeah. didn't they, early on? Yeah. Um, we, didn't, we didn't touch them that, that game. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Yeah. Someone's really trying to put a cat amongst the pigeons, the pigeons here. Jack, Mom, Jack. Yeah. Jack, yeah, Jack, Jack, should you keep chocolate in the fridge or in the cupboard? And probably in the fridge. That's it. That's my boy. Oh, no, you get, no. You, 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 <laughs> he's been infected by your be bad behavior. Jack, you can sleep in the house tonight. Right. <laughs> 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 Jack for mascot on Saturday. I don't know if we'll be able to do it this Saturday, but um. We'll see, uh, one second, we'll, see, uh, we'll try and listen on the ferry, says Ian uh, Wilson. 4-0 uh, to the heat. We've got predictions coming in. Uh, for Who well. said 4-0? It was yeah, uh, Ken Webster. Uh, Ken wow. Uh, Trina said she doesn't drink wine. Uh, yes, please, from the Denanga fan club. And I'm going to have to get the wife on it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so, need a teddy bear uh, safe to Mark Denanga. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And uh, goal difference will be great, thanks to Jack. Yeah, that million goal prediction. <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> Hang on, Jack, 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 just before, I, I can see you're going to get up there. Have you got a joke for everybody? Go on, say it. And um, why did the toilet roll not cross the road? Why did the toilet roll not cross the road? Because it got stuck in the flak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> On that note, uh, that's not bad. Uh, that one is better than any of yours, man. <laughs> this, this, hang on, hang on. Right on that note, follow us on social media. And then there was two. Mickey, he's had to go to go and propose, uh, but uh, he did say he wasn't going to be. Oh, he's got a new toy, a mini. Uh, prediction oh, well. still coming in. We've got 3 1 here uh, from Liv. We've got 3 1 from Jay as well. We've got Ian Barron. I think he's a Darlton fan, actually, isn't he? He's joined us. Uh, yeah. Good evening, everybody watching. Uh, hope you're all well. Had a great day uh, and have a late uh, As normal member, Stephen Holbrook, who played for the game. Sorry, as, as normal, who remembers Stephen Holbrook, who played for Gator in the 80s? Can you remember him, Mickey? Yeah. I yeah. certainly can. Yeah, and uh, but, yeah, I've, I've talked about eighties today. It's to the day. It was Gates had been two 0 on this day. Keith McNall scored two goals away to Witten, and I have been talking to Barry Stimson and Paul and Paul Doolan. And mm -hmm. to see, I'm a fanboy of Paul Doolan and Barry Stimson is putting it lightly. Yeah, um, and it was great having the chat with them, and I. I'd like to thank them, if, if, especially if Dula's listening. And it was absolutely fabulous to have a, a trip down memory lane with them too today. Absolutely get to, fantastic. Get to have a chin wag with a hero, eh? It's not bad, is it? Oh, two um, heroes. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, hang on one second, Jack. I know you've, you've got fame hungry, haven't you? What, what is it now? Um, and and it, no one, when, 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 when you want 
was looking for Donkey Kong. Why was a Lambo in it? A Lambo? Mm -hmm. I don't, I've got no idea. Have you been smoking crack? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there was a Lambo knocking about. Um, Stephen Holbrook is my stepdad. Oh, fantastic stuff. So wow. To reach out, we might uh, try and get him on. Mickey can interview him because you see, uh, would have seen him play. We've got more. It's a long time ago since Stevie Holbrook was playing for what? Four nil to Gated. Uh, just for my Jack got my prediction for millions of goals. Uh, Trina's going three one. Uh, Mickey, can uh, we say uh, Kawi? Can you Kui. say? Kui, what's that? What's Can the back say... Kui. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. But remember, two games. See, Mickey, uh, the old four. Of course, uh, we lost it uh, Wembley. Always a tough place to go to. And well, you talk bogey sides. Uh, this side certainly is the bogey side. We've got to try and get past them. Um, you know, can we do it this time? Well, it depends what happens. Let's go with Saturday the first. Um, I, th I know they haven't started well, but oh, these man. are these are these are a really good side. They are. I've been watching. Start, I've been watching the highlights today. I watched, Sorry. and they're going to swing the ball right under the crossbar. They've got. They've already got one centre half who's on two goals for the season. Uh, They've got some dangerous players, and it'll be a tough, tough game. Yeah, they concede, the score goes, but they concede as well. So let's hope on Saturday. I think you'll, people are saying three one, four one, four nils, and I'll, I'd take a, a, a scrappy two one or one, uh, even a ones each. To be honest, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, it's but as regards to all four Halifax, wow. I mean, we've we've been blessed with you know goals about the plenty at the moment. Hang on, Jack. But uh, you know, and it's it's free flowing at the moment. If that continues over the next two games, then absolutely fantastic. But for me, hook by crew play our brand of football. If you know that that's the way we're got, well, we've got to play our brand. That's the way we're we're set out for the season. But get you know get through these games. If you win by one nil or two one. Uh, a win's a win at this point. Let's just get ourselves embedded uh, in the top half and keep ourselves there still, you know? that's Exactly. I mean, the Shea's never an easy place, is it? No. At the best of times. I mean, I've seen we're, I've seen we come close to winning there. <laughs> I think the best we've got, I think I've seen the threes each draw. We're 3-1 three, we're three down at the time. Yeah. It's... And, uh... I mean, someone's actually made a good thing here. Yeah, Jesse Deborah, who's moved linked to a big move in the summer, he's left Harrogate. Uh, he's still free. Got, yeah, he still hasn't got a club yet. Um, do you I see? I can't him? understand that. Very strange. I, I don't know if he's failed a medical or whatever, but you know, he was looked like nailed. Oh, thank you for the kiss. I thought he was nailed on for going to Barnsley. It looked like, didn't it? Um, yeah. So. Yeah, um, but as someone said, we should have got Luke on. We, I've had a, I thought it would have, but we might be able to get him on after the game post match. Uh, obviously, we'll, I think we might be able to do a Tuesday uh, podcast because we've got the Thursday is the talking, so that that may play in. But we'll see what how everyone yeah. uh, how everyone's calendars match up, and if we can do that. Uh, someone's got. Would you take Deborah? I think he's destined for the football league. Myself, it would be a hell of a coup for any club in this league to entice him back to the national league. In my view, I think the only ones uh, you're looking. I would say Oldham and Chesterfield have probably got the money to get him. Yeah, uh, I would love him. Yeah, I, I think would... he's a really good defender. I would take him in a heartbeat, me. But whether our budget stretches that far is another matter. Oh, you want to tell Mickey something? Uh, 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 um, um, Gator will always win. Gator, oh, that's it. That's what I like. I like that. Good boy. High five. Hey, don't get used to this, though. You've got to be in bed next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having you taken my fame. Um, I've already got used to it. Uh, you've already got used to it, have you? Oh, no. Um, watch out for the, the Jack podcast coming soon. Sophia's already crying um lots of predictions coming in here we've got a uh, one one against walk and two one against halifax um that wouldn't be a bad set of results um but it wouldn't be it i wouldn't would take be. four points now yeah uh-huh uh -huh, definitely but the win coming against uh 
Halifax. <laughs> I'd like to get a win against Halifax. God. I just, I just, I just put it to bed once and for all. But I, I, there's just something. I mean, I'm going to Halifax, and well, I, I'm going. I'll be at the ground, and I, I don't think I'll actually believe we've actually won unless it actually happens. Yeah. And I even mean, then, I'll be checking the scoreboard to see if it's bust. I've got to say, Trina, put the special brew down. Have you seen that? 4 0 to the heat on Monday. Oh, she's on her fourth can. She must be. Yeah. Uh, Trina won't be on her fourth can. Fifth. Uh, on, uh, shortly. Shortly. Get the more cooler. Get the more cooler. Football. They aren't the there we've got he's here. Tell you what, he's chipping in with some good stuff. Um <laughs> hope everyone doesn't mind him chipping in. He, he's 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 really happy sitting here. Um we've got um uh, we've got uh, I wish I was used to the fame, uh says Mr. Luke. Um we've got Johnny Gray well, thanks to the foundation for the events over the summer. My girls uh love the pop up uh, this week. Carl, Rusty, and Carly from the ladies' team taking sessions. Uh, my list uh, fancies itself as a future GFC number one. Well, that's amazing. And uh, we're hoping I was speaking to Steve Thornton from the uh, the foundation, and uh, we're looking to get the, uh, him on or someone on from the foundation to talk more about it because what they've done this summer has been absolutely fantastic. And if yeah. you don't follow the foundation on social media, please do because I, I mean, we could share the pictures, but I don't want to. Um, because it's it's other people's children and things like that, and uh, you know it's not right sharing it. But the 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 events themselves look like they've been an, a massive success, and the the the, uh, the turnout has been just great. And yeah. uh, you know the, the club putting themselves out there in the community so entrenched this summer, especially when we've lost the leisure centre, we've lost things like that. The club stepping up and the foundation stepping up to the mark has been uh, truly. Uh, it's, it's been heartwarming as a Gated fan to see our club out there doing their bit. Um, so, yeah, we've got another one, another prediction. She's got a draw at Halifax. Will be a good score, but staying positive. Um, we've got here, well, this is, the, this is the old fabled question. Question is, is there any plans for Gated moving into a new ground in the future? What I would say is uh, there was probably always hope. There's, uh, I don't think there's anything concrete in, pl- in place. Um, we live in hope, but don't count your chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's a diplomatic way. Hold your breath. Yeah, uh, when will Ollie and uh Whelan be back? Hopefully, back in contention this week. They're back in training, aren't they? So, you would hope maybe on the bench, uh, you know, get them back in there. I think so. Uh, what was oh, someone's got what's the tape about? Um, well, it was just a play on words. I, I was making a from Neil, and it was I seen an 80s tape, and I thought, tail of the tape of what the uh, weekend has been, uh, or the last week, should I say. Um, we've got here, uh, David Vickers. Uh, if we do get uh, a place in the playoffs this season, i be truthfully honest, uh, that will be a big opportunity to build on the team's success. My prediction is Gator will do uh, get to the playoffs. Uh, it'll be a great experience for the club. Well, I just think as, as long as we're, for me, I don't want to be negative, but as long as we know any of the, the relegation zone, I'd just like a comfortable season. Uh, but if we've got the excitement of flirting with the playoffs, all the better for it, uh, if you ask me. Uh, Patrick Story's put 2 2 and 0 0. That must be for the weekend's this month. Uh, how's the puffing? You've missed it. He's out to sea. He's went out. He's uh, got to wait. And Davey uh, said, I'll be the same to that puffing. And out it went. Uh, to see, and that's where it's going to be for the next three years. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on Chadwick playing for Stockport County uh, midweek. Um, well, he's, he's allowed to, isn't he? So that's just the way it is. If if you had a player on loan from Newcastle, they could play in the Northumberland Senior Cup uh, in the uh, in the under twenty ones. So that's just yeah. that's just the rules. It is. Um, if we had a player loaned out to Dun- Dunstan or whatever, we could play them in our. Um, uh, Durham Cup in, 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 Durham, in a Durham Challenge Cup, couldn't we? So, yeah, definitely. Oh, lovely cuddles, Jack. Lovely cuddles. Um, we've got more messages coming in. Two one was on Saturday after uh being bullied by the refs. <laughs> oh, wait, just, just keep positive, keep positive. One nil to us on Monday, uh, scrappy as anything. Um, our aim has to be playoffs just to stay focused, definitely into the final 15. Uh, yeah, let's see. Well, it, you know, it's just it, it, a progression, progression is what we want, but of course, this is a very ambitious side, a side that we've seen can score goals. So, 
if they can carry it on, it's a long slog this season. If we can stay fit, then anything is possible. Uh, oh, Mickey, you've been called out on it. It's been like this for about a year. Someone's smoke alarm needs a new battery. Well, it's, mine hasn't gone off. Neither's mine, unless it's uh, Jack Squeak. And <laughs> Mickey's did used to go off. I haven't heard it. But uh, there we go. Our aim is uh, mid-table. They're 1-0 against us to us against Halifax. They're all coming in. Um, but, yeah, it's been a, a very, very productive show. Also, as well, um, I know I said uh, the other week that I'd be getting a lot of the uh, missing audio episodes up. We weren't able to do that because I had to delete room on StreamYard of previous broadcasts, so I lost a couple of them. But the last one is up, and this one will be up tonight. I do promise, because uh, I know a lot of people do listen uh, to the audio ones when they're out and about with their earphones in. So we do apologise for that. But um, also as well, uh, on Saturday, last Saturday, there was a problem with the commentary on uh, Facebook. For whatever reason, it just wouldn't um, go out and play on Facebook. Um, so the commentary now going forward, so we know it works in one place, is going to be only on YouTube. So follow the links. We'll be posting the links all over uh, Facebook and Twitter in the build-up to the weekend. So if you're not already subscribed to us here, that would be amazing. Hit the like button as well. Hit the bell so you get a notification when we are um, I going. I hit the bell. You want to hit the bell? You can't hit the bell on this bit. But, uh, yeah, as I say, we'd like do that any news on Banny being back um not as yet i don't i don't know if he's actually it was someone's put here two three weeks for Panny, i think so yeah you gotta yeah, think he's got, he's got something on his something to do with his chest there's big players to come back mickey uh so yeah. it's it's all very very positive on that front um right just having a little look through it's still time to get your predictions in we've got about uh, 10 minutes remaining anything else that anyone would like to say but we are going to go on to the ladies now mickey first competitive action uh last weekend away to anik in the cup um not a great day at the office um no at all um I think it's safe to say you could see the the two levels higher. Um, they were the better team throughout, much better team. Yeah, sadly, um, we didn't have a full strength squad. To be fair to the lasses, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it was a heavy defeat, and and it was worth every single bit of it. Was sadly, it? yeah. I, um, Sometimes you just got to hold your hands up and you know, yeah. team you're playing, some uh, it's often Much better. better, yeah. That's it, yeah. Uh, hold my hands up, we were the better team. It was, it was disappointing. Uh, I, I didn't expect us to win if I'm being completely honest, but uh, I thought we made the second half would put more of a fight up. I mean, but they're just wow, they were, were stronger. Um, it was a shame, it was. That's it. Yeah, it is yours. It is. It's someone saying yeah, I hear yours. I've just heard it twice now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. It, look like you don't get. You see, from smoke alarms to puffins. It's just this is the podcast where you get it all. <laughs> you get it all. I mean, I think they've got another friendly on Sunday. I haven't had it confirmed yet. At home. Mm -hmm. uh, I just. It's a lesson for them. They've got to learn from it, and. I think it was a bit of a wake-up call for a few people as well. Um, Sometimes not a bad thing. Sometimes not a bad thing. No, it's, it's not, not a bad thing learn. at all. Uh, and I mean, I don't want to be too harsh on the on the lasses because, like I say, the pitch was massive as well. Yeah. <laughs> on, you think our pitches are the same? You stand on the. The 4G at the Gator Stadium, and you were to stand on Annex pitch, it just looked huge. Yeah, and the the at home, and you, like you see, you just got to hold your hands up on the better side. Uh, like I see, a few few people learned a lesson about how hard it is. To go no. up them so levels. Is, the, is the next game a league game? No, the next one's just a friendly. Then they've got Chesley Street and the opening day. The league season, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chester, I think it's Chesley Street United we're playing. So. <laughs> oh, right. Hopefully, I mean, 
we've got some lasses who have been injured and we've got some players who've been away and hope and Jess has got to come up from Brighton because back up for uni. Uh, and it'll be an exciting front three of Amy Richardson, Jess and Crid, as well as uh, Liv Black. So there's some good attacking options to come into that team as well. And defensive areas will get strengthened when players come back off holiday in the midfield. So it's a, are they are they playing this Sunday, Mickey? We've got someone asking who they're playing this Sunday. Uh, I haven't had it confirmed, but I think we might be playing West Hope at home on Sunday. All right. So I'll keep an eye out on social media for that on GFC Ladies on all social media. Uh, the, the social media is absolutely fantastic on there. It's been up to. I, you, do you know the name of the lad that's doing it there? Brandon. Brandon, he's doing a, a sterling job. Uh, there's a lot more out there, a lot more coverage. Um, talk Unfortunately, coverage. Brandon's leaving soon. <laughs> Is he? Oh, oh well, short live. Well done, Brandon. Um, we've yeah. got a message here about um, are we covering a game on Monday? No, I'm going away on Sunday night for a early sun uh, wedding anniversary with my wife. Five years of being trapped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wedding bliss. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. She was behind you when you said trapped, by the I way. Know, I know, that's why I said I can see you now on the camera. <laughs> um, right, so, uh, yeah, and um, also it's got where do they play again? I'll go down, they play on the 3G pitches behind Gates. Yeah, the, the, uh, the 4G pitches behind the stadium. You yeah. just walk yeah. through the car parks. And Anik ladies played some good, uh, fantastic passing yeah. football. Stuart was there. Uh, was yeah. so hang on, what this one saying? She's behind you. I know, I know. She's always behind us. I kind of get away from her. Uh, <laughs> hi, hi. Uh, and Jay is back from the chippy. I can't believe you left during the show to go to the chippy. That disgusting, Jay. Your father I must have sent him. Eating, I'm starving. Um, there's a few more people are saying they can hear the the smoke alarm now, Mickey. It's it's. Uh, uh, I'll I'll have to get the ladder and get up and get the battery changed. It's starting to take my head in, to be fair. I'd like you to know? see you do a run and jump and try and get it. You know, just show off your oh, athleticism. Two, give us two seconds. Oh, no, that does joke. I'm not, I'm not going to run and jump. <laughs> Well, while Mickey goes there, once again, big thank you to our sponsors, Northern Print Solutions. Uh, if you want to follow them online as well, we have tagged them in a few of our... Um, Shut both, the kitchen door. Uh, so there we go. I'm, oh, I'm behind there. So And uh, Patrick as well for there. And uh, while you're at it, uh, subscribe. And also as well, the, there's only a few days left, three days left of the uh, Edinburgh Fringe. But Gav uh, Webster is having a fantastic time up there. There is some tickets available. He's had a lot of sellouts. So if you're... Uh, in the Edinburgh area tomorrow or uh, the day after, or even the day after that, get yourself along. Uh, go and see Gav, one of the top comedy uh, comedians in the country, and uh, you will see uh, a great show. And uh, as I say, Gav, big gated fan as well. So, uh, yeah, do that. Um, we live well in this put It's an all a learning curve. They will bounce back. They certainly exactly will. Exactly, live. Sometimes yeah. you've just got to, you've got to take one of them type of defeats to kick you on. It happened to us the, the promotion season. We needed a that little kick in the teeth, as it were, just yeah. to refocus. Um, but it's still early days. It's still in the preseason. They were playing a team from the division above. Well, well, there are two leagues above them. Two leagues above. That's yeah. it. It's nah, a big so, last yeah. year. Um, I mean, they were, is it Anik? I played at St James's Park on it. So yeah. Well, people are going for. Say, what, what would you rather? Someone's posed the question, what would you rather, third round of the FA Cup or trophy final? Uh, people oh. are uh, third round of the cup. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna oh, be greedy and say both. <laughs> the money depends where point. we're depends where we're going there for your cup. Oh, oh, oh what you what you drew here? You drew you drew a picture. What's that? Um, Is that us on the podcast? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jack's drew a picture of us on the podcast. So there we are. Fantastic. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? There yeah. we go. And look at the bottom. Oh, look at the bottom. You put hearts there as well, have you? Uh, no, yeah. I put a gate at the... Ozzy kicking the football. That's love. Loads of hearts for love. Thank you, Jack. I'll keep yeah. that. You in. do realise, Jack, when you get to 18, this video is going to be played at your birthday party. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, 
I don't know if Ben Allison's got the question right, but he's put, when is the FA Trophy final? Uh, it'll be in May. We're not there yet. Uh, uh, well said, both says live. And uh, she's put new logo um, by Jack. And uh, one second. Oh, there's another question. Yeah, I would you rather see Adam Campbell or Owen B come back or Owen Bailey? Um, there's a question. It is a question, isn't it? Uh, I'd love to see both lads back in the gate at, at some point. Uh, they, they always did us, always did us well, didn't they? And uh, look, look, there we got. Look, wow, well done, Jack. <laughs> look at the face. I know. <laughs> face yeah. is worth the yeah. worth the picture alone. I uh, know, some boy you want. Yeah. Hey. Wait until he's 18, he'll have a horrifying look on his face. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I've, I've got loads of uh, stuff. But art with Jack, there we go. And someone's saying Campbell. Well, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, as I say, I, I, I hope you didn't mind Jack sitting in there. Um, what it is that Elaine's got a couple of our friends around and he's he's staying up because uh, there's a couple of kids here. So apologies about that. I hope no one minded that. He was, he was good value. But uh, Jack, do you want to say goodbye quickly? Bye. Bye, Jack. <laughs> there we go. So a big thank you to Jack uh, for being part of it. Thank you to Davey as well. Hopefully the proposals went well. <laughs> um, and, I hope uh, that's live in the, in the house. Be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Davey, <laughs> To, to Mrs. the future Mrs. Steele, Davy is about to get down on bended knee. If you're watching this now, look at him. He's uh, waiting to get down. He was going to do it in France, but he, he left the ring at home. Um, right. Got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm only joking. I'm just why not. My thoughts. Gate said, aim for another FA Trophy final. We did so well last season in the FA Trophy. Thoughts, aim for a playoff and another FA Trophy final. But I'm putting pressure on myself. Well, I wouldn't say no. And uh, there I we would, go. I'll got to be honest yeah uh another great show jack added to the show well jack i think people like you and uh mickey i want you to sing happy birthday on my birthday when is when is jay's birthday october the 16th well there we go that's getting uh pretty close towards the 400th show as well um so there we go and uh we're gonna have plans for that but uh say fab podcast people have put nice things there look at that jack there's another person there but look great to have jack join you tonight there we go. So, have you enjoyed podcasting? Yeah! Yeah, there we go. Are you going to go to bed in a minute? No. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to turn the camera off before you see a toddler absolutely dominate me and I kind of get him up the stairs. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, big thank you. Thank you to the sponsors as ever and partners. Mickey, as ever, been a great, great night. Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed the quiz as well. Uh, we'll be back with full match commentary on Saturday, Gated versus Woking. So if you join us, if you're unable to get to the game, but get there, this should be an absolute corker. It always is. And uh, on that note, there's only one left thing to do, and that's say goodbye. And uh, before you go, why not drop a subscribe? See you later, everybody. Bye. See you later.